Hey, Kerry here again. This is the second half of this video. The Split Manny. This is the ocean themed hand. And originally the design was done with Nail Creation Products. This is a salmon pink, the cover powder. I had a white, I had a few blues on the original set. Blizzard blue, which is a little bit more turquoisey. Blue ocean. And the glitter acrylic is called Heaven. The big chunky glitter, I haven't got that with me, I'm afraid. Um, I'm at home, obviously, now because of the virus. But um, I've improvised, substituted a few things, cut a few others out. But um, this is Heaven, this glitter one. And the blue ocean colour and the core powder white. So you can see the hand already has clear base sculpted on and filed. And now I'm applying design powders. And I like to apply them quite wet. They do blend well then. The original design had two nails which were full cover. The other two are blended with the nude cover near the cuticle, which doesn't show the regrowth, as obviously. My clients do love those designs where they grow out and they don't look quite so bad. But the, this marble nail, so it marbled, it's quite wet. It doesn't need to be neat. It's just to have quite a varied contrast of different colours and textures um, especially with the chunky glitter in there. Once you're happy with the design work underneath, cap the whole nail in clear. Now I have done other videos that are far more in depth regarding structure and filing. Obviously this hand is very difficult to work on so I haven't particularly covered any of the structure or the filing whilst just demonstrating the design work. So this middle nail is going to be covered in bling. So it's quite plain, solid blue color. And because it is so long, I did just decide to uh, throw a bit of glitter in on the tip there as well. Again, the core powder, the cover, salmon pink. I love this colour. Just applying that near the cuticle and blending it down. That's actually a little bit of slush fairy I've just put on there because it is semi-transparent and it's got loads of shimmer in. And then again little bit of a marble with the blue that I have and the chunky glitter. Obviously we're going to paint on this surface afterwards so it doesn't have to be neat. We're going to paint the little waves on after we've filed. This last nail, this pinky, is a full cover, marbled. Again, you can see the product's quite wet at the moment. I do sometimes use a different brush for the wet work because it holds quite a lot more monomer and it blends the colours easier. It's a longer brush, it's not as firm. And when I'm sculpting or building capping in clear. I do like to use my other shorter firmer brush for pressing with the belly of the brush and pressing the product out. Last little corner 
putting some chunky glitter on there. So once happy with your design work underneath, cap all of your work with clear. This is a core powder, this is for strength. Not all of your coloured powders, depending on where you've got them from, are going to be strength powders. Okay, there we go. I've skipped ahead a little bit. Nobody wants to see all the boring stuff. There we go. So capping, last one. Now onto the filing. This file is from Nail Creation as well. I love it. It's from the Royalty Collection. It's called Lady. It's 100 grit one side and 180 the other. This is so difficult to file on this hand. It pulls the nails out. So I'm filing one for the purpose of the video, but the rest, I've cut that out. I've covered filing in far more depth in previous videos, but this is just a demo of me filing the first one. Nice straight sidewalls, smoothing it off, buffing the grooves out, then a really fine buffer. This one's about 220, I think, and that makes the surface really smooth for painting on. Now this palette of watercolor paints I got from Alexa and the brush. And I've watered down just some white, watercolour white paint, putting some waves on over the top. So now I've applied the colour, I've gone back and I've washed my brush out. My brush is now clean, but it is also damp. And then I'm blending out the colour on the back side of the wave there and you can see that the brush then does still fade out the line but it also takes a little bit of that paint back off now my tiny tiny detailer brush also from Alexa and I'm just highlighting the leading edges of those little waves, adding a few bubbles, and I basically do the same thing on the other two nails. That draws the design across the rest of the hand. Once your paint is completely dry, I'm then top coating. This is a no wipe top coat. It's a high gloss. And once you've top coated, cure it in the lamp. Now I know I've skipped ahead and the big bling is already on the nail. This is because I was being a bit of an idiot. My phone stopped filming. I hadn't even realised. But I wasn't particularly worried because I did this yesterday. So you've seen how I attach my big bling to a nail anyway. I'm just now cementing on these big stones by applying wet acrylic so that it seeps in around the base of all of them and fills in all the gaps. Now I'm gluing on flat back crystals. Now I've moved on to the 3D work, 3D acrylic. I'm going to make some shells. So I've applied that bead 
to the nail surface directly onto the cured top coat and I've just pressed that bead out like I would if I was making one petal of a flower. You can see now I'm using the thin side of my brush like a little knife to press in tiny little grooves. We're giving the shell some texture and that little tiny center area which I've just left that is where I'm going to put a pearl. So as your product sets, sometimes it does bounce back a little bit. So I've gone in there again and I've just made sure that I've kept my grooves deep. These little embellishments, gorgeous little things, dead cheap off eBay. The little metallic shells, starfish, all those kind of things. And also flat back half pearls. So I've used brush on glue and I've just stuck one there right in the center and I'm going to make another shell on this nail in exactly the same way using the thin side of the brush to put the grooves in Just cleaning up there. I think these are really cute and they're dead simple. I've decided I'm putting a pink pearl in this one. It's not, not really that you can tell it's pink. It doesn't really look any different. Um, this now, this bit, I'm just completing the little clam. Pressing this tiny, tiny little bead of acrylic right up against that pearl is going to make sure that pearl is not going to fall off. And I put a couple of little grooves in the bottom half too. Now that is my cuticle pusher. And should you find it easier, you can use a metal tool instead to put your grooves into your acrylic as it's setting. So I've done the same again on this one. And as they're setting, I'm just going to finish embellishing these nails with some other shells. But I'm using the aloe ones now. I've just held them on held them on and held them in place just with a tiny little bit of brush on glue. They wouldn't last five seconds if I just left them like this, though. I will go around them with top coat afterwards. Throw a little starfish in there too. I put the shells on first and a large pearl. Then around them, I'm just going to add a few more small little Shurovskis. Sometimes... Less is more, and sometimes you can't have enough. It's all a matter of taste. I mean, some of the things I do, and some of, the, you know, you might look at them and think, oh, God, they're awful. And some of my clients would think, God, it's awful. But other clients love it. It's all about personality, your client's taste. And l luckily, I've got a couple of clients who love loads and loads of bling, because I love doing stuff like this. I'm just finishing off with top coat. Again, just like the video yesterday, same thing, same techniques. I've got a little brush and I make sure that I seal around the base of every single gem and embellishment to make sure that you can't get hair under it, you can't get them caught, pull them off. But I also make sure that I don't go over the top of the crystals or the 3D work with the gel. It will ruin it, they lose their luster and 3D acrylic work loses its texture as well. So I have sped the video up. Obviously, we'll be here forever. Um, I'm just applying the small caviar beads in between a few of the gaps just to finish it off. I think it makes it look a little bit more delicate and interesting as well, especially with stuff like this, like little treasure chest. Lots of shiny stuff. So they were just sealing them on and 
there's the final touches for a nail design for me sealing on the crystals. So I then cure in the lamp. This is the finished effect. They will last the three, four weeks till my clients come back. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me again. I'll do another one tomorrow.